Good morning, Jesus. And thank you for watching over me last night. And thank you for the stay of life you've given me today. And Lord, I offer it back to you. It's my gift to you. For your will, it's to be done in my life today for your service and your glory. And I ask all this in Jesus' name. I lift my brother Anthony, his wife Rhonda, and all their family up to you, Lord. I lift uh, Mark and his wife Gail and all their family members up to you, Lord. I lift Judy and I and all our family members, my new friend Mel and all his family members, and all your children that you've created. And I ask for a special blessing on each and every one of them, Lord, today. And I ask this all in Jesus' name. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. Well, Lord, got a... Uh, Walter's fed, and i got to get to the store. Uh, if you could arrange that, or you know what I need. Uh, and uh, so that's one thing uh, you've put in my path. Uh, I got the uh, Walter fed, and I got the passages from this book up on the bulletin boards. I thank you for that. And I'm going to read some great inspiration right from the book on uh, July 25th. And these were the words that the Lord shared with his uh, daughter and, uh, and uh, Sarah. She shared them with the world. We thank Sarah for that. As you listen to the birds calling to one another, hear also my love call to you. I speak to you continually through sights, sounds, thoughts, impressions, scriptures. There is no limit to the variety of ways I can communicate with you. Your part is to be attentive to my messages in whatever form they come. When you set out to find me in a day, you discover that the world is vibrantly alive with my presence. You can find me not only in beauty and the bird calls, but also in tragedy and faces filled with grief. I can take the deepest sorrow and weave it into a pattern for good. Search me, search for me and my messages as you go through this day. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole being. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And some Bible to support that. From John 10, verse 27. From Romans 8, verse 28. And from Jeremiah 29, verse 13. You can go to the Bible, look up those quotes, and it'll support what Sarah and the Lord Spirit talked about on that July 25th. Good stuff. Great stuff. The best stuff. <laughs> but as we're in the world, sometimes we think all the other stuff's the best stuff. Because it's right here, right now. It's not in the unseen, it's in the seen world. Which is a fallen world. and But it's still alive, as the Lord says, with his presence. And you can see him in so many different ways. And uh, I know I recently, uh, we went to a, I belong to a club called the Melody Club. And we went to uh, Plymouth to a restaurant called Isaac's. And uh, at, it was very hot. And we were going to hold off for an hour and people could walk around and stuff. But it was so hot and we wanted to leave a little early. But some of the people had wandered off. So I had to go find a couple of them. And we didn't know where they were at. So I'm asking the Lord, Lord, could you have me run across them? And uh, so I'm walking around Plymouth, not knowing really where these people are. And um, I've already asked the Lord, so I know if, if it be his will, I'm going to pop into one of them. And I'm, and I'm going down, and I'm always, I'm always, uh, so many things happen in a day for me that, that tell me it's his way of saying I'm right here. And uh, so as I'm passing through the, the streets, this uh, one kid because uh, I wear the shirts all the time. He goes, yeah. And uh, it was my encouragement that he's right there with me. I did not find the person, but the person showed up on their own a few minutes after I got back. So we got to leave a little early, and 
at all as well. But uh, it's like you look for the Lord, and those are the moments you're going to see him. Those are the moments he's talking about. When he's in the bird call, you know, it might be sometimes I know that when I'm going somewhere, a hawk shows up. Um, when I see the hawk, it reminds me of the Lord. Um, because of when I met the Lord 12 years ago, the hawk was a big integral part of that. Ants is another uh, one of nature's creatures that, uh, that the Lord created that also is another signal for me. So each of us will have different ones. He, he, we're all individuals, and he loves us all. And he's right with each and every one of us. So you will, and as you, those things happen to you during a day, you should always look up and say, thank you, Jesus. You know, that's, a, you, that's him encouraging you. And give him thanks for that. You know, if somebody in this seen world helped you, you would definitely say thank you. Well, if someone, the most important one from the unseen world helps you, you need to say thank you. You don't have to yell it out loud. It's just in the silence of your heart, because that's where he's at. Just so say thank you, Lord. Pretty simple stuff. <laughs> okay. My brother Anthony, brother, great book, tell me, good book. You know what the book does? It explains, it's, a, it's, a, it's the next level up on how to take the readings you read and put them to real, pra real life practice in your life today with the Lord, and how to do that. And then you have to, then you have to wean the book off, because this is Sarah Young's journey, okay? And we're learning the Lord's using her to teach us how to live. She, that's how she lived with him. And each of us is going to be different because each of us has a different different path and a different trail for the Lord. Okay. Jesus, I'm going to get this up on the internet. Um, what else I got to do? I got, I got to do laundry, Lord. Uh, one of the earthly chores that you had to do too. So uh, come do the laundry with me. And... Uh, and that would be a good thing. Um, all right, everybody, have a good day. Take time for the Lord today. Take some inspiration books, the Bible, whatever you're taking. Read some passages and think about the Lord. Put And look for his messages today. Okay. And my dog is whining because he's probably hungry. I think she's got water. Okay, hopefully she does. All right, have a great day. Lord, thanks for being in my life.